29.3 primary structure of shoots. Now a shoot uh, again consists of a stem, a petiole, and leaves. Now most of the primary growth will occur at the, the tip of the plant or the apical or terminal bud, also called the apical meristem or terminal meristem, uh, which is located here. This is responsible for the plant's primary growth, which is a growth in size or in height. Um, we also have an axillary bud, which is going to increase the plant um, laterally, so out the sides, increase the width of the plant. Uh, that's also called secondary growth. Now, a, a shoot is composed of, like I said, a stem and... Uh, petioles or branches with leaves. Now the area where the petiole is going to grow out of the stem is called a node. So this area here would be the node. Now the area in between nodes is called an internode. So this region here would be an internode. Now in the area between the petiole and the stem we have axillary buds as I mentioned that are responsible for the lateral growth of the plant. Um, now, the internal structure of the, of the stem consists of, um, well, ground tissue as well as vascular tissue. Now, the vascular tissue in dicots is composed of vascular bundles uh, arranged in this manner. In the, we have the primary phloem on the outside and the primary xylem on the inside. Now, the ground tissue, here we have pith, and on the outside we have cortex. Again, this is the dermal tissue or the epidermis on the outside. Now, in older parts of stems or roots, a vascular cambium may form. This is a very common in woody plants. This is going to help um, increase the plant in size or in girth or width. Um, now, in a dicot plant, the outermost layer of the stem is the epidermis, which is the part that you would see. Then, right below the epidermis is the cortex, which I discussed before. Here's the cortex, right below the dermis. And then, right inside of the cortex, cortex, we have our vascular bundles, and they separate the cortex from the pith. You can kind of see in this picture here, we have our epidermis, then the cortex, a very thin layer. Then, these little tiny circles are, are our vascular bundles, or you can see them in lines since they run the length of the plant, and the internal part that's all white right here would be the pith. Uh, the pith lies in the center of the stem. Now this again is in a dicot stem. We look here, uh, this is a real cross-section of a plant. We have an, our epidermis on the outside, then we have our cortex, our vascular bundle with the xylem and the phloem, and then the pith is on the inside. Now, a monocot stem is different. Uh, there are vascular bundles, however, they are not arranged in a circular pattern. Um, they are pretty much spread throughout the entire uh, stem. So you see here, there is no ring like we saw in the dicot. The vascular bundles are just randomly spread throughout the plant. Um, so there is no division of the ground tissue. We do have a pith, however, there um, really isn't a cortex and a pith, a clear distinction between the two.